Hi everyone, it's Missy here. Welcome back to the scrapbookpal.com YouTube channel. Today we are making a fun card using this new stamp and die set from Lawn Fawn called Scoot and Buy. We're also going to be using the Build a House, the Build a House Spring Out On, these slide dies, and a grassy border die. So let's get started. We're going to start with all of the stamping. So I'm going to stamp the bunny, the mouse, and both of their um, scooters, and then I'm going to do two balloons and one gift. And I'm using my mini Misty for this. And then I'm going to be stamping with the Gina K ink. I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring. I will have a timestamp on the screen for when the coloring um, ends and the rest of the card begins. So you can skip ahead if you're not someone who likes to watch coloring. I love it. <laughs> I love to watch someone color. I love to color. Um, it's just relaxing for me. It always has been. I was in the hospital once and um, my now husband, who was then a boyfriend, said, what do you need? And I said, well, you go get me a coloring box and some crayons. <laughs> so every time a specialist would come by and see me, I would be coloring and they're like, okay. And this was back before adult coloring was, was really a thing. But it calmed my nerves. It still does. I really enjoy coloring. Um, just with now, you know, instead of crayons all the time, I'm using markers. I do color with crayons though over on my own channel. Um, not only crayons, but also colored Crayola colored pencils. It can be done. It can be done really well. Um, and let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me do that over here on this channel, because I absolutely 100% could. or at least show you a little bit. So now I am moving on to the mouse. For the mouse, I'm coloring them in the C's. So C5, 3, 1, and 0, 0. I leave the, um, on the, the colors on the screen because as you can see here, the light reflects off my caps and you can't see them. And I am coloring a little differently than what I normally do. If you're from my channel, you're like, Missy, you don't normally color like that. And that's because I wanted something a little bit lighter. Um, normally I deal with dark saturated colors, but I wanted something that was a bit more light and airy. Um, so I started with the darkest color on the outline on the outer side, and then I worked my way in to the lighter color all the way in the circle. And then the lightest color is on their tummy. I don't think I showed it, but I used um, R32 for the inside of their ears. And I'm coloring the bunny to the same exact way. So we're gonna have a gray bunny, a gray bunny, Misty, a gray mouse and a brown bunny. And I think they turned out so cute. So if you haven't seen all of this release, I encourage you to head over to the website to look. You will find all the supplies listed in the description box down below. This release was probably one of my favorite ones that Lawn Fawn has done. Um, they have this stamp set, then they have one that I can't remember what it's called, but it's got hugging animals. And like this, this set is meant to work with that one. Um, and then of course they repeat their same animals for the most part throughout their collections. So you can find mice and foxes and bunnies that will work together with that stamp set. And that's what I love about Lawn Fawn is how they really do a good job of you know, giving you ideas and giving you ways to use what's already in your collection. And that's pretty cool. So for the balloons, the ones in the back, I'm coloring a solid color. So one is Y06 and the other one is RV06. For the bigger balloons, I am coloring it with the darkest color, leaving a white highlight, and then going over the white highlight with a lighter color. And the reason why I did this is because I don't, I'm not someone who likes a stark white highlight and that's just my own coloring preference. Um, again, if you're someone who does, you could completely leave that without going over it with another color. And then you can see where I write my colors down on the right hand side because this 43 year old brain can't always remember. So I'm gonna make sure that I give you all of the colors that I'm using so you can recreate this if you want to. After I finish coloring this balloon turquoise, we're gonna bring in the dies and I'm gonna get these cut out. I like to store my dies on a magnetic sheet that is 
adhere to the back of where I store my um, stamps. I put these liners in the stamp pocket. So for the scene, I've cut down a piece of snow cone cardstock. This is from my um, MFT, cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've cut down just a piece of craft that I had in my collection to one and a half by four and a quarter. And I am using various shades of brown to dot to make gravel. And you can see on the other layer, which is um, also four and a quarter by five and a half, I've marked where this kind of road begins. So I grew up in Oklahoma. I'm an Okie transplanted here in Texas. And I grew up out in the country. Like we lived on 80 acres. I graduated with less than 100 kids in my class. Like we, I think we had 88. We were a pretty small school. We really lived out in the country. And I can remember in the summers, in the springs, we would ride our bikes um, down a gravel dirt road and go visit, you know, my uncle or go visit neighbors. And so I, this, this idea really came to me um, for that. So I am bringing in one of the slider dies that we can use. So, cause we're gonna make a sliding card. Our images are gonna be sliding. I'm gonna do this old fashioned way <laughs> with pennies, but you could use dimes or there are even dies now that have the circles. So you don't even have to worry about using currency. But again, I'm old school. I've been doing this for over a decade. This is how I learned to do it. And I just think it's easier. So, and plus we always have pennies lying around. <laughs> So before I get everything adhered, I went ahead and cut out this grass border die. This is also from Lawn Fawn. And I cut out three of the fences. That is from the spring add-on, along with the flower box and the gable at the top of the house. All of that is in the spring add-on on this build a house. This build a house is genius. I mean, they have it and you can decorate it for Halloween. You can turn it into a schoolhouse. You can do a magic reveal wheel in the window at the top. I mean, this is just, this is just so good. So I, like I mentioned earlier, I think I mentioned earlier, I wanted to make sure that the mailbox was there and to look like they were going to a party. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere some clouds. I cut these out, I believe it's called the simple, puffy cloud. Again, everything will be linked in the description box down below because my memory is not always great. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and position the house where I think I want it and where I think I want the clouds. And I'm going to adhere the clouds with um, glue dots. I originally had four clouds, which is weird. I always do odd, odd numbers. So you see um, the last one down there in the corner. And when I cut out stuff, I just use washi tape and I just make sure I take off most of the sticky. So since I needed some fine tip glue and I don't have a fine tip glue um, dispenser, I probably need to pick one up. <laughs> I just put some Tombow Mono liquid glue on a piece of paper and I'm just using, this is a brad setter. Um, and I'm just using, you can use your, you know, pokey tool, whatever you need to do to a toothpick. That would also work if you don't want to get goop all over your tools, but I'm using that to dot on adhesive because I tried this just doing it out of the spout and I, um, um, spoiler alert, I made a mess, which is what I normally do. So <laughs> I was trying to be proactive here and I think I did a good job. So the mailbox comes out, I cut out the mailbox in black and then I went ahead and cut out the flap in just a silver glitter paper. And then I am adhering the balloons and the mailbox with glue. I'm also going to adhere the um, house with liquid glue. So I decorated this house the way I would want a house. <laughs> we live in a brick home, which is pretty, it's, you're hard pressed to find wood houses or siding houses here in the Dallas area. But if I could live anywhere, and I had all the money in the world to buy any house that I wanted, it would be a Victorian and it would be a painted lady. I would want it in like purples and aquas and peaches. So I did that on this little house. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So I'm lining up the money where I think it needs to go. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive squares. 
You could use adhesive strips if you have them. You just wanna make sure that you're leaving enough room for your coins to go backwards and forwards. And that's what I was checking there to make sure that I had left enough room. Once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my pennies. I've put an adhesive on them, each of them. That way I could get them where I needed them. And I'm starting from the bottom left corner and adhering as it goes to the right. And then I can just move those pennies where I need them and use that adhesive to kind of keep them in place. Once I get them where I want it and I get the other thing, um, excuse me, the card layer completely laid down, I'm gonna pull off the stickies and add down my um, pennies. Now, this one on the left got a little something on it. It wasn't quite as sticky, so there we go. For my little animals, you can see there that I put them on their scooters. I just adhere, adhered them with liquid glue again. Somehow that footage became corrupted, so I apologize for that. But it's really simple to glue them together. And then I'm using the liquid glue to glue them on to the pennies. And after giving them a second to dry and kind of adjusting the gifts so the penny doesn't show, this is what they look like when they move. So you wanna make sure that you have them higher than the house so they don't rub up against the house and that's kind of what I was making sure of right there. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some glitter because that's what I do. These are the new, this is the Nouveau Aqua Pen. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed today's card. If you make it, make sure you tag Scrapbook Pal on Instagram and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.